Welcome. We hope you enjoy these behind the scenes surprises about your favorite Sesame Street characters. I find kids and adults are amazed by the process behind Sesame Street. There's no other street like it. The craft might be more magical than the show. This show is the ultimate Muppeteering challenge. It took me years to get used to Grover and Elmo. Ugh. I don't think I'll ever be comfortable with Oscar the Grouch. You might not realize that it actually takes two of us to operate Ernie. He's what's called a live hand Muppet. So I operate his head and his left arm, and then Josh operates his right. When I'm in the big bird suit, I use my, my left arm to operate his left arm. <laughs> I use my right arm to operate his head, right? <laughs> and I stay as far away from Oscar the Grouch as possible. Sometimes, when the cameras aren't rolling, Oscar steps out of his trash can. It is a real treat. If you didn't work here, you wouldn't even know he has a human lower half. What most people don't know is that the character known as Cookie Monster actually started as a cheese-eating snack creature in a Canadian commercial. Right, or that in real life, Oscar has no concept of personal space. The puppets are made of reticulated polyfoam. You know, it's this wonderful, durable, flexible material. And unlike whatever Oscar's made of, it's not radioactive. Who is this guy anyway? Sesame Street took years of development, but there were three things that we knew right away. We wanted to promote literacy through television. We'd make it fun for the whole family with grown-up references. And we'd work around Oscar, who was already living on the soundstage. Kids love Oscar. Uh, parents love Oscar. Biologists don't know if that's Oscar's penis or if it's, you know, a, another organism altogether. Here's a design choice most people miss. The younger the Muppet, the bigger we make their pupils. That's how my friend Elmo here has eyes that look so childlike, and how Oscar's eyes haunt every third viewer's dreams. The filming crew has an inside joke where every so often a member of the crew will go up and offer Oscar a pair of pants. <laughs> and he does this hilarious thing where he'll tell them the exact date that they're going to die. <laughs> He's never been wrong. Most people don't realize that the Count's full name is actually Count Von Count. Or that Oscar the Grouch is what standards and practice as make us call him instead of He also goes by Oscar the Caponic Nightmare. So this one time Oscar the Grouch, he walks into Jim Henson's office and he levitates all of Jim's furniture, doesn't say a word, and just leaves. <laughs> yeah, Jim was special. The whole show is special. It's timeless. It's an American icon. Most of these Muppets wind up in the Smithsonian, for cheese sakes. And now that Sesame Street's on PBS and HBO, I know we'll be changing lives for a long time. Did HBO ask for any changes to the show? What, you mean like make it Game of Thronesy, Dirty or something? Of course not. It's Sesame Street. Oh, hey, Oscar. We were just shooting. Uh, Oscar is one of the best characters in the show. He's a fan favorite. He is more than... <laughs> Where, where'd you grow up, a barn? <laughs> Man. Don't make eye contact with me. Mm -mm. Where did you grow up? Or don't tell me, I just want to live.